On this Mother's Day, we have prepared this offering of a call for peace. We are reminded that the original Mother's Day proclamation was proposed not as a call for pretty cards and roses, but as a call for peace. In 1872, a proclamation was issued by Julia Ward Howe. She was a well-known American writer and abolitionist who wrote the famous song, Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory of the Coming of the Lord. The song links the judgment of the wicked at the end of the age with the American Civil War. As an activist, she worked for the vote for women, for freedom from slavery, for rights for poor women, and above all, for peace. In 1872, the American Civil War was a recent memory, but still America was at war with the Macamamooks in the Fraser River Canyon, with the British in the San Juan Islands, with the Paiute, the Cheyenne, the Dakota, and many more. The nations of the world were constantly at war. Canada, Britain, France, and Germany. Christians fought Christians across nations and within nations. And so she began her statement with this. Again in the sight of the Christian world have the skill and power of two great nations exhausted themselves in mutual murder. Again have the sacred questions of international justice been committed to the fatal mediation of military weapons. In this day of progress, in this century of light, the ambition of rulers has been allowed to barter the dear interests of domestic life for the bloody exchanges of the battlefield. Thus men have done, thus men will do. But women need no longer be made a party to proceedings which fill the globe with grief and horror. Despite the assumptions of physical force, the mother has a sacred and commanding word to say to the children who owe their life to her and to her suffering. That word should now be heard and answered to as never before. Arise, all women who have hearts, whether your baptism be that of water or of tears, Say firmly, we will not have great questions decided by irrelevant agencies. Our husbands shall not come to us reeking with carnage for caresses and applause. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We women of one country will be too tender of those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. From the bosom of the devastated earth, a voice goes up with our own. It says, disarm, disarm. The sword is not the balance of justice. Blood does not wipe out dishonor, nor violence indicate possession. As men have often forsaken the plow and the anvil at the summons of war, let women now leave all that can be left at home for a great and earnest day of counsel. Let them meet first as women to bewail and commemorate the dead. Let them solemnly take counsel with each other as to the means whereby the great human family can live in peace each learning after his own time the sacred impress not of caesar but of god in the name of womanhood and of humanity i earnestly ask that a general congress of women without limit of nationality may be appointed and held at some place deemed most convenient and at the earliest period consistent with its objects to promote the alliance of the different nationalities the amicable settlement of international questions the great and general interests of peace. Julia Ward Howe was not the only woman who had called for such a Congress and the International Congress of Women took place in 1878. The Congress continued to meet, and with increasing frequency, until the great Congress calling for the end of World War I 
held in 1915. The Congress worked for suffrage, for rights for women and for the poor, and especially for peace. After World War I, to the Congress in 1919, they regrouped to form a new organization, the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, to work for peace, for equality, and establishing practices that work towards bringing the world together. The Women's International League for Peace and Freedom still exists and is active in Canada today. We read the original Mother's Day proclamation for this Mother's Day 2021, so that we could all remember what was the original purpose of Mother's Day. And that every year on this day, we might be inspired to continue the work for peace.